like that. Oh my God. This is the Teveron Fighter Supreme. I had thought, I mean, I've ridden scooters. I've ridden 350 watt scooters, 1000 watt scooters. I never thought I'd see a time when I would ride twin 4000 watt scooters with a peak of 10,000 watts. Those are fighting words. This is future Tim here behind the computer doing the edits for this video. And I just heard back from Tevron, even though on their website, it says dual 4,000 watts and a peak of 10,000 watts. It looks like they're actually only 2,500 watts, which is a total of 5,000 watts with a peak of 8,000 watts. Still incredibly powerful. Anyway, I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna take this scooter. And what I'm gonna do is a little bit special today. I'm gonna ride around Oak Bay today try it out, tell you what I think as a big guy, but I'm also gonna invite somebody else to ride it. And that's Jamie, my cameraman, because he's a little bit younger and uh, I'd like to have his perspective as, you, as well because I'm not convinced it's for me. I mean, I've already scared, like I, I came pretty close to peeing myself. That's how scared I was. I peed my pants. Oh. And that was in level five. As you can imagine, 10,000 watts is kind of extreme. So anywho, without further ado, I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna uh, ride around Oak Bay and share with you what I think about the Tevron Fighter Supreme, what I like, what I don't like, what do I think it's for you? I'm not sure if this picks it up on camera because it is such a very bright sunny day, but the lighting on this is absolutely fabulous. The Fighter Supreme has the ability, of course, to do indicators. And, but when you're doing an indicator, I'm gonna show you here. If I'm turning right and I put the right indicator on, this actually starts to flash. Down here, it starts to flash. All the way along here, it flash. And of course, at the back, it flashes, which I just think is fantastic. If you do both, of course, you've got the hazard. So now you're flashing on both sides of the actual scooter at the same time. And it's got this beautiful three and a half inch full color display. So from a lighting perspective, this is perhaps one of the most beautiful lighting that I've ever seen. And it's completely controllable. So if you actually wanna control the lights, you can use the app to do so. I'm gonna do a couple of things next. I'm actually gonna invite Jamie to do a little bit of a speed run. We're not gonna max it out. As I said before, 10,000 watts, you need full leathers, you need like helmets and all that kind of fun stuff. But I would like to have a younger, younger man's perspective. Uh, I don't wanna say anything derogatory, but younger guys have a different perspective on life than older guys. I'm happy doing 30. 40 kilometers an hour. It's really comfortable. One of the things I have, actually, I don't know if you can see this, but let me just ask Michael, my lovely cameraman here, showing the size of this deck. It is absolutely monstrous. To put that in perspective, I've got size 13 wide shoes. And typically I can't sit side by side, or sorry, stand side by side, but I sure can on this. So the Teveron Fighter Supreme actually comes with NFC tags. And what's really smart about this is you don't have to have it on all the time. What you do is you're gonna unlock it once and that's it. Now, if you wanna lock it again, you just put it over the top and it's gonna be locked. But you don't have to have these with you all the time. If it's unlocked and you go for a ride, it's gonna stay unlocked for your entire ride. Even if you turn the power off and turn the power on, you don't have to have your NFC tags with you at all times. Okay, we got a hill test right here. There's a trail behind me that takes us from the beach all the way to the top. And I've just volunteered Jamie. Thumbs up? Yep. Jamie's out of here. Let's see how he does dual motors up the side of a hill. Cause I think that's actually gonna be the strength of this is that you're gonna be able to get up these hills. Anywho, Jamie, get out of here. Go find out if it works. The hill of death. Turn around. That was easy. All right, let me get it down this. How was it? That was easy. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? So I'm here with Jamie. I just want to say thank you to Michael and Eric for helping with the filming. Thank you, Jamie, for helping. You took it out for a spin. I did, yeah. I've taken it out for a spin. Some of the things that just, you know, I'm going to just fire a few questions mm -hmm. off at you, but let's just start off with, it actually weighs about a hundred pounds. You know, you can 
Ugh. Yeah, you can pick that up, put it in the trunk of a car. And as you can see on the video here, it folds up really easily. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up here and pull this down. And there's a little extra button here I'm gonna squeeze in and I can roll it all the way down. And there's a little clip on here to click in. Now, it's 100 pounds, so you know, if you're built like me, great, but you're not gonna be wanting to carry up a bunch of stairs. Now, speaking to that, while we're down here, I do wanna say something that's really quite nice about this design feature that the Tevron has. I must admit some rather unique design features. Everything has been really well thought out. Like, look at this back bumper. It's wrapped around, it, it's movable, it's gonna protect you from all those stones, but it's also got just an interesting design about it. And at the front, the same thing. This interesting design, but it's actually functional as well, because on this side, it's doing a lovely job there of being beautiful, but on the other side, you're gonna notice it's designed to protect the actual disc. So that disc, the part of the brake, is being protected by that. That's kind of cool, I think. And this stem is so, so, so solid. Like it doesn't, there's no movement whatsoever. The lighting is exceptional. What yes. did you think? Like when I was riding around and I was indicating- Yeah, you had your right turn signal on for us to turn red, obviously. And like I could see it the whole time, 30 feet back, no problem. And it's so bright. Yeah, exactly. It's so bright. What I like about it, it's got a massive battery. Yeah. It's got oodles and oodles of power, way more power than I would ever need. Yeah. But if I'm gonna go do some trail rides, I don't even have to think about it. This thing is gonna be good for like 100 kilometers, yeah. 60 miles, no problems. What do you like about it? For me, a big thing was the suspension. Um, I mean, this kind of feels like the one that's on the, um, the Blade Pro. I mean, you can see there, the um, so it has adjustable rebound at the front and back coils. So right now it's uh, really slow. Obviously that's why it's super springy. But if you're gonna do some, you know, 60 plus kilometers an hour riding, um, you're gonna wanna just adjust that dial to have a fast rebound so that it's not as springy as you're more, and you're more stable. But um, the suspension's amazing. These swing arms are big and bulky and that's what kind of makes it so stiff and sturdy. You took it for a speed run. Yeah. Hydraulic zoom brakes. Mm -hmm. How, what did you think? I almost got thrown off at first because I, I didn't expect them to be so powerful. <laughs> there was all. a bit of a... <laughs> I mean, I've, I've ridden zoom brakes all the time, but I just did it hard and I was like, wow, like you, there's no problem with stopping power from 60 kilometers an hour. I mean, again, same with the stem, it's super solid. Everything about it is kind of beefy and you don't feel like anything's too janky or gonna break on you. So I almost wet myself when I put it into gear five, yeah. dual motor and gave it the beans. I'm guessing you tried a little... I did like the tiniest touch. I mean, here, I'll show you the five with the... You press the throttle, watch this. Like that, oh my gosh. See, like you are... I'm like just touching the throttle a sec and it's spinning tires like crazy. Well, you well that's what wanna... threw me right off. Was exactly. I'm accustomed to powerful... You know, I've tried other powerful scooters. Yeah. No problem. Like, I mean, they're fast. Mm -hmm. But 10,000 watts, that's like, yeah. so if you're looking for a 10,000, like if you're looking for something that's absolutely crazy powerful. This is it. Yeah. This is it, right? Like I've never ridden anything this powerful as this. Yeah, even like the Wolf King with similar size battery and everything, it's, the motors are almost half the size. And the These, batteries yeah. themselves, the, the LG 21700s. Yeah. So you've got quality cells inside. Uh, you've got the dual... I'm gonna put a lot of st numbers and statistics up here because I'm gonna mess this up, but I had a dual sine wave controller. I think it's like 52 amps. 52 amps, yeah. Something like that. If I'm wrong, it's gonna be up there anyway. Like if you're a big guy trying to go around and just you know have great trail rides, hey, this thing's amazing. If you're perhaps younger and you're maybe, or maybe just young at heart and you just wanna go a little faster. Yeah, this thing's amazing. <laughs> the only downsides, any downsides did you find? Mm, well, I mean, if portability is your concern, <laughs> probably not the best thing. I mean, if you're you carrying carry it up, up to downstairs? an apartment like yours, but uh, I mean, like, even with like, in regards to the speed again, there's the steering damper up here, which I don't yeah. even think we talked about. I mean, when I went to do the high speed runs, I turned it up five or six clicks. It makes a sound so you know exactly how quick it is. And then you can just test it by turning it and you feel and you it. Know and you know you're, you're gonna be ultra stable. Yeah, and then if you gotta make tight turns, just loosen up all the way. I like how it's all, um, you can adjust everything on the fly in a second versus like 
having tools with you, like right. Allen keys or a wrench to do the coils, stuff like that. That's no good. This is the perfect way to do it. So the only negatives I found with it were two things. Number one, I think my height is about the highest. You like you're taller than I am. Yeah. I'm only six feet tall. I'm almost I've, six foot three. You're six, almost six three. Yeah. Did you not find this a bit low? I did find it a little bit low. Yes. So I would say for me it was okay, but I felt like I wouldn't want to be much taller. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, in long term rides you will get a little fatigued. Right. With your arms this kind of stretched out. Yeah. And then the uh, that's yeah. a, that's a minor thing. I yeah. think it's you it's know probably. 38 inches and the typical is like 40 so yeah this it's only a couple of inches it's not yeah. it's not like dwarf size yeah no. uh, and then the only other thing this little catch back here i kept putting my feet on yeah and i thought that was a little bit of an uncomfortable thing i realized you need a catch to actually you know lock it down and you know of yeah. course you can you know put groceries on here although maybe you're not doing grocery runs in this you're <laughs> probably you know trail riding or having some fun I, i'm going to wrap it up and just say two big thumbs up big guy approved 100 percent. big guy approved what are your thoughts? Is it, is it is it Jamie approved? It is for sure Jamie approved. Yeah, this thing was a blast. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jamie. No Man, much appreciate your help. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, put it down in the notes. We're going to be testing another Tevron a little bit later on. Um, this is going to be the Tevron Fighter. 11. I can't remember. The 11. 11, yeah. The 11. Thank you. Yes, you yeah. saw it. So we're going to be testing that out. And then what I'm going to do is probably do like a comparison video between the two. And I also want to say a very special thank you to Super Scoots. I'm going to put a website link for, for lending us these scooters to try out. Yeah. Super fun, right? Yeah, super On this fun. amazing day in Victoria.